What's up everybody, my name is John Hall and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own All The Mods 8 dedicated server for you and your friends to play on. Since this video has no sponsor, I wanted to take a quick second to tell you a little bit about a project that I've been working on. Every single video on my YouTube channel that has done even remotely well has either been centered around my home lab or around Minecraft. And because of that, I started thinking, what could I do to combine these two subjects and provide something to you, the viewer, that would actually be valuable? The more I thought about it, the more I realized that it could potentially be relatively difficult for somebody to run both a dedicated server and the client side of a mod pack at the exact same time. And so I realized I already have the hardware thanks to my home lab to be able to run a whole bunch of these servers at the same time. So why not set them up and just let you guys use them? I currently have my main vanilla server and 15 modded Minecraft servers up and running right now. But by the end of this, I plan to have well over 150 total servers running at once. The goal of this project is simply to allow friends to be able to play with each other on a server without one of them having to take the incredible performance hit of actually having to run that server for themselves. Again, this is totally free, so please feel free to share the server information with whoever you think might actually use it. Okay, back to the video. Step number one in installing any modded Minecraft server is to download the server files. The easiest way to do that for all the mods eight is to go to curseforge.com, download the curseforge app, and then once you're inside of here, you can browse for mod packs and then search at the top for all the mods eight. Now, because this server pack is so new when I'm creating this video, I'm gonna have to click on the popular tab and then click on latest updated. This will show me all the mods eight right down here at the bottom. You can click on the actual mod pack and then click right here to download the server pack. Now, once this is downloaded, I'm gonna highly suggest that you create some sort of a folder structure to store this file in so that it doesn't get cluttered. And if you install other servers, that there's actually some sort of organization to it. So inside of our All The Mods 8 folder, we're gonna go ahead and paste the server files. The next step is to right click on it, go to properties, click unblock and apply, and then right click again and go to extract all. Now you're gonna to wanna to extract it to the same directory that you are currently in, and then you kind of just have to wait for this to finish extracting all the files. Now, while those files are extracting, it's a perfect time to go ahead and install Java, which is the only other thing you need to download in order to get this server running. So just Google for Java 17 download. It'll be this Java downloads link right here, and it'll take you to this page. So you click on Java 17 right here, go down until you see the Windows button, and then you'll go to the 64-bit installer. So it's gonna be this middle link right here. Double click that, install it. I'm not gonna walk you through that process. The Java installation is incredibly easy. Keep clicking next until the end of the install. All right, so you have your server files and you have Java downloaded. Let's go into the server files and look at those. All right, so now we're here. Let's double click the forge installer.jar. You're gonna to want to install a server and then you're gonna to wanna to change the path to the folder that you are currently inside of. Once you have that folder selected, go ahead and click okay. So once it's done installing, it'll say it's successfully downloaded the Minecraft server and installed 1.19.2 Forge. Click OK on that. So at this point, your folder should look something like this. The next step is to look at these user underscore JVM underscore args. This is going to set how much RAM your server is actually using. For our case, we're going to up this to about 12 gigs. We're going to save that, close out of it. The next step is to double click this run.bat and it'll start launching your server for the first time. Now we'll get stuck right here where it says that you have to accept the end user license agreement for Mojang. So click any key to continue there, it'll close out of it. And you'll have this new file here that's called eula.txt. Double click that, change the false in here to true. Hit control S to save and we can close out of it. And now we can launch this run.bat again. Now at this point, your server will actually launch and you can join it from any computer on your local home network. All you'll need is the IP address of the computer that you're setting up this server on. However, if you have some friends that want to join your server from you know anywhere outside of your network, you're gonna have to set up port forwarding. Now, unfortunately, there's no easy one size fits all. Here's how exactly how you set up port forwarding. The easiest way to do this is for you just to go Google how to set up port forwarding and then whatever your router model is. Now for this particular server, we're using Minecraft's default port of 25565. So you're gonna to wanna to use the IP address of this computer, port forward 25565 to your external IP address, and then you're gonna to wanna to give your friends your public IP address. Now the easiest way to find out what your public IP address is, is simply to go to Google and search for what is my public IP address. The first link there will tell you exactly what that is. And that's what you'll actually give to your friends for them to put in the server address box when they're adding the server on their client. So there you have it. You have a working All The Mods 8 server. You have port forwarding set up and your friends can join through your public IP address. 
Now, like we talked about earlier, if you find out that your computer can't quite handle running both the client and the server side of this mod pack at the same time, I'm gonna have a public All The Mods 8 server set up that you can join completely free with any of your friends and play as much as you want. I know that all of this can be a lot to somebody who's never done it before. So if you have any questions or if you run into any issues, you can leave those in the comment section below or I have my Discord link down there. Hop in my Discord, ask me a question there. We'll get back to you as soon as possible so that we can have your server up and running and so you can play All The Mods 8. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.